Hi, everyone. I am Shweta, and I am a certified linguist from the University of Cambridge and an English teacher at ESOL. So welcome to today's lesson, which is going to be about a very interesting topic. It's called, Can Must Have Soft Skills to Get a Job for a Fresher? So this lesson today is a soft skills lesson, and it is for intermediate and upper intermediate students. And before I run you through this lesson, I'd like you to keep three things in mind. Watch the complete lesson, Ask questions in the comments below. We'll have our teachers who would respond to all your questions and download the PDF of this lesson in Google Classroom. All right, so are you guys ready for this wonderful, interesting lesson that will make you an absolutely confident employee? Okie dokie. So let's first understand what are soft skills? So we all have different kinds of skills uh, related to our profession, whether we are engineers or teachers or artists. But then there are these set of interpersonal skills which have an impact in shaping our personality positively. These are skills that make us come across as extremely confident, trusted individuals at the workplace uh, um, who can really make a good impression. So let's go through these skills one by one today. Okay, are you ready for the first one? So before we start, I'm just going to give you an example. Um, say, for example, there are two people, Mr. A and Mr. B, and both of them work in the same company. Now, this Mr. A is a person who listens patiently to his teammates and helps them out to find solutions to their problems. But Mr. B doesn't give a year to the problems of others and only believes in solving his problems at the earliest, even if that causes trouble to his teammates. Well, have your pick. Who would you want to be, Mr. A or Mr. B? All right, if you want to be Mr. A, then this lesson is absolutely relevant for you. So let's understand what are these soft skills one by one. The first one is teamwork. So teamwork is all about becoming a person who is approachable. So having the kind of personality at our workplace where people find it easy to reach out to us, to talk to us, to discuss with us. The, another aspect of teamwork is to be patient and understanding of the problems of your teammates. So not always having the approach of only looking at one's own problems, but also empathizing with the problems of your colleagues. And third is to respond positively when someone asks for help. Your answer should be, yes, I'm there to help you and support you. Now let's look at the second aspect. It is communication. Communication is a major component that makes you uh, somebody who can make an interesting impression on others. So what, what are the aspects of communication? Number one, which comes in handy is to develop presentation skills, which are required for meetings, in group discussions, and one-to-one -one communication. How freely can you express your ideas uh, with a lot of clarity of thought, how you're able to put your points across to others. Second is to practice speaking in front of the mirror. Trust me, guys, it is a very important practice to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and try to speak because it enables you to look at your facial expressions, how you're talking, what's your body language, and gives you a lot of confidence. And another aspect is to learn phrases, new phrases that uh, can really help you in public speaking. The third component is motivation. How important do you think motivation is? Isn't it very important to be driven towards one's work? 
And that can only happen when we are able to prioritize and finish our work before a given deadline. Second is to ensure that a deadline is never missed. You don't want to be that person at the workplace who always delays his or her work. You want to finish your work before the deadline. The fourth quality is leadership. And this quality comes in so handy. And it requires us to develop an approachable personality. So trying to become a person who does not intimidate people around, you know, uh, how can you really become a person who looks very approachable? Somebody can come up to you and talk to you and discuss their ideas, share their opinions. Second aspect is to help your peers when required. So, of course, all of us tend to take help from time to time in our professional scenarios when we are stuck. But you also want to be that person who can always render help to others. And the last point for leadership is to take charge of the task, which may not always be part of your job duty. So the first reaction could be, oh, this is not part of my job. Why should I do it? But leadership skills are all about doing that extra bit for your company, for your organization, uh, taking charge of those little tasks and uh, becoming more uh, contributing to the company. Fifth aspect is the problem solving ability. So to have a problem resolving attitude at work is very important. Of course, we are uh, usually very familiar with the aspect that if there is a problem, you want to bring it to your senior's notice, you want to raise it, um, you know, amidst meetings, etc. But are you also a person who comes up with solutions? Because that is one important attribute, you know, of, of being a good employee, to have a mind where you are full of ideas how to resolve a problem. Then don't panic and research well. So how can you be calm and at ease when there's a problem or there's a crisis only when you've done your research well? Last is to ask for others' opinion often. Moving to the next one, the sixth point is to be responsible. And to be responsible requires us to be prepared to accept the success or failures of the tasks assigned. So one key element in becoming responsible is not just acknowledging um, uh, the appreciation that people give you around, but also owning up to any mistakes that we may have made or any failures that may come along. So ownership is very important whether we fail or we succeed. Next is to try to plan for eventualities. In case something goes wrong, do you have a plan B in mind? The seventh is decisive. To carry out decisions no matter how difficult they may be. So it's so easy for us to make a decision. But once we start on the journey, sometimes we feel, oh, it's so tough. And you want to give up halfway. But don't do that. You want to be that person who is able to carry on through to the end once you have taken a decision. The next point about being decisive is being opinionated and taking the opinion of others. Eighth is the ability to adapt. The ability to adapt means to have an open mind to changes. It is very important that you become a person who is not resistant to change, you know, uh, but who is always welcoming any kind of changes or adjustments. So you want to be like a rubber band that can be stretched, you know, it can bend, but you don't want to be like a stick, which is very, very adamant and strict. The next point about the ability to adapt is to find positivity in new things and become flexible. The second last point, the ninth one, is about time management, how important that is. To become an efficient worker, 
you need to keep a diary or take notes in your phone to be able to prioritize your work. So what you want to do is to have a to-do list ready every day and to be able to manage your time so that you're able to give sufficient time and focus to each of the activities and have a productive day at work and have an action plan with assigned deadlines. And the last point for time management is to try finishing tasks before the assigned deadlines. And the last point for soft skills today is conflict resolution. So developing a strong rapport with people around in the office, whether they are your seniors or juniors or, you know, your colleagues, it is very important to develop a strong rapport with everyone. Next is to be able to respect the opinions and perspective of other people. So while you may want to put your points across, but at the same time, you would also want to be a person who absolutely respects the perspective of others. And last point here is to make sure to resolve conflicts at the initial level. So before something blows out of proportion, you want to resolve it just at the beginning. So here were some tips for becoming an excellent employee. And let's do a quick recap of what all we learned today. So the first soft skill is about teamwork. Second, communication. Third, motivation. Fourth, leadership. Fifth, problem solving ability. Sixth, be responsible. Seventh, decisive. Eighth, ability to adapt. Ninth, time management. And the last one, conflict resolution. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did and you benefited from the lesson, please put in the comments below, share your ideas, your learnings from today's lesson. And also, if you like the lesson, do subscribe the channel. And you could also log on to the English School of london.com fill in this form if you want to speak english like a film star so i hope you guys had a good time and i'm going to come up with another interesting lesson soon hope to see you again bye bye